This is going to be a full tutorial on my phone where I show you step by step on the screen how to use Trust Wallet, how to buy, sell, get money into Trust Wallet, and even how to stake inside of Trust Wallet. And don't worry if you don't know what I'm talking about that word, we'll talk about it here in a few minutes in the tutorial. One thing to note is that the App Store recently made an update to a lot of their terms and it made it a little bit harder to buy and sell a lot of cryptos inside of Trust Wallet. So if you're looking at reviews that are any older than maybe a month or two older than this one, you'll find that they're out of date now and the methods they show don't work anymore. So this is the most up-to-date tutorial on how we're gonna go about using Trust Wallet in the crypto world. All right, so we're gonna hop on right here and the first thing you need to do uh, is get a Coinbase account because that's the best and easiest way for most people to fund their Trust Wallet. So if you don't have a Coinbase account, there's a link down below, you can sign up for Coinbase. And if you already have a Coinbase account, you can just hover over the screen and you can see you can skip ahead. It'll show you the timeline here and you can skip right ahead to the next section of this tutorial. Um, but obviously as a, as a beginner, we've gotta fund our, our Trust Wallet account here. So once you set up that Coinbase account, you'll be looking at something like this this inside the Coinbase app. Now please note, you probably won't start with you know, that amount of money in your wallet. Um, it'll probably say 0.0, .0 right there, but everything else will be the same. So the next thing you've got to do is connect some kind of funding method to your Coinbase account, a credit card, debit card, bank account, something like that. So we'll click profile and settings right here and you can see I've got three or four different payment methods. I would recommend PayPal if you can possibly use PayPal because the funds are available a lot sooner if you use PayPal. But if not, credit card, debit card, bank account, whatever you want. Okay, so you're gonna set that up right there. You're gonna get it connected. And then you're gonna go down here and we're gonna wanna buy Ethereum, okay? So we're gonna buy Ethereum and that's gonna be the way we fund our Trust Wallet account. We're gonna send that Ethereum to our new Trust Wallet account. So what we're gonna do now is click into this Ethereum right here on our account. Yours might not be in the exact same place, um, but you'll be able to find it and then you'll wanna click trade right here. Okay, and you'll say buy Ethereum with cash. Okay, you can see on your screen here, I've got some limits here. Let's say I just wanna buy $10 worth. I've already got some Ethereum in there that we'll use to send anyway. I'll click preview buy right here and it's gonna add a few fees. Looks like a dollar fee. And you can see right here, it says you're good to go. We now have some Ethereum in our wallet. So the next thing we need to do is set up Trust Wallet and then we'll send that Ethereum over there. So you'll click the link down below and you'll download the Trust Wallet and you'll end up on a screen that looks very similar to this one right here. Okay, and you're gonna click create a new wallet. Now, really, really important, it's going to give you a seed phrase. It's gonna give you 12 words, and those are your seed phrase. And what those words are is, if you ever lose your phone, or you somehow lose access to this Trust Wallet account, this is the only way you're ever gonna be able to get it back. So take what it gives you and write them down on a piece of paper and keep them very, very safe somewhere. Okay, and if you do everything properly, you'll see right here, it's gonna tell you your wallet's successfully created. And you'll see right here, it gives you kind of some basic coins in there and says, hey, you don't have any balances, but here's kind of the, the basic uh, initial starter coins that most people get. So you can see here, Ethereum is one of those coins. Wow, Ethereum is going crazy today, which is great. We're gonna click into that, and then we're going to click on receive in the middle there, okay? And it's gonna give you this address, okay? So we're gonna click the copy button right there. Okay, and it says you can send Ethereum to this address. Great, that's exactly what we want to do. So we're gonna go back over here to our Coinbase account, and you can see there, there's a little uh, button on the middle and the bottom, that blue button um, with arrows pointing two directions. We're gonna click that, and we're gonna click send. Okay, it says what do you wanna send? We're gonna click on Ethereum, and then right here we're gonna say, how much do you wanna send? We're just gonna send, let's say 10, uh, well, let's say 30 bucks to Trust Wallet, okay? This is obviously just for a tutorial, so this is a brand new Trust Wallet account. So we'll say send 30 bucks, we'll click continue, and it's gonna say where do you wanna send, and look, it's already got it in there. We'll paste that to the clipboard. Click on preview send, and there's always fees, and uh, when you're only doing it in tiny amounts, those fees kind of add up to a big percentage, but if you're sending a couple hundred bucks, the fees aren't that big of a deal. So we'll just click send now, and your Coinbase will now send your Ethereum to your Trust Wallet account. All right, and once the send actually goes through, it can take anywhere from 30 seconds to five minutes. You'll kind of swipe down and you'll see right there, it says you now have $30 worth of Ethereum. So we've funded our Trust Wallet account and we can now start doing all kinds of things inside of Trust Wallet. And it's, it's worth noting that uh, Trust Wallet has a buy option inside and I could click buy Ethereum, um, but it uses these weird providers that are frankly extremely complicated to use and a lot of times just don't work and your credit card companies hate them. And I've just found Coinbase to be easier for the masses. All right, so let's start with the first part. You can see in the top right corner, there's that little uh, thing we can click and we can click it and we can basically tell Trust Wallet which tokens we should have in our wallet. Okay, we're telling it to look out for these, these tokens. And so right now you can see it's only added these four, but we say, hey, I'm probably gonna have some of this, some Algorand, let's say, I'm gonna have some Cosmos or Atom, some Dash. 
Okay, when I click done, you can see now it's added those to my main wallet screen. There's, there's thousands of cryptos, right? And so this makes it a little easier for you to just have the ones that you are either own or plan on owning. And obviously I own zero of everything except for Ethereum right now. All right, so let's talk about buying and selling. Uh, now, we've, we've shown the four buttons at the top, sending and receiving. Okay, that's what we just did where we sent Ethereum from Coinbase to here. Buying, which we showed you doesn't work that great. The one that we're gonna use the most is that button on the far right that says trade. And you can see at the top, there's a swap option and an exchange option, okay? You're probably gonna use the swap option to do 90% of what you do. So we're gonna click right here. And you can see right here, right now, it's already putting in Ethereum and we can click into that and we can say, hey, I wanna swap my Ethereum for, and then when I click that sushi right there, here's all the options that Ethereum can be swapped with, okay? That are on the Ethereum um, blockchain. And you see there's tons of ones you probably haven't heard of. I haven't heard of them either. Let's say we want to swap it for the um, Aave token, okay? So you can see right there, it now says Ethereum being swapped with Aave. You don't have that much Ethereum. And then I can select a percentage right there in the bottom. You can see these percentages. And I'm going to say, I want to trade all my Ethereum for Aave. And it says, okay, you can get that much Aave for your Ethereum. And we will click swap. Now it's worth noting the Ethereum network has fees and they're not cheap fees. And so you can see right here, it's saying you don't have enough for the fees. Had I inserted enough money, we'd be fine and I'd be able to buy um, whatever I wanted here with this Ethereum. Then all I'd have to do is go back to this home screen, this wallet screen right here, click up in the top right corner and type in Aave and say, hey, keep an eye out for the Aave token. And it would now show up right there with the purchase that we just made. Now, something worth noting is Ethereum is its own blockchain, okay? There's also the Binance blockchain, and the Binance blockchain and the Ethereum blockchain don't really get along and talk to each other. And so, uh, if we want to buy anything on the Ethereum network, that's what we're gonna do, okay? That's the process that we'll use. You'll use the exact same process if we wanna buy something on the Binance network, but we'll use BNB. So instead of going to Coinbase, you'll go to Binance.com, um, or if you're in the US, you'll go to Binance.us, you'll buy BMB, which is Binance's version of Ethereum, right? And then you'll do the exact same thing that we just did, but you'll receive, you'll buy the BMB, you'll click into here, you'll receive BMB, and then you'll have BMB token in your trust wallet as well as Ethereum token. And those are kind of the two main blockchains where everything's happening right now, uh, at least as far as trust wallet goes. And so we, we've seen how we can fund it and we've seen how we can exchange it. And so remember you fund Ethereum with Coinbase or you could use Binance and you, th you fund um, BNB with Binance. Once the money's in there, you can exchange it for pretty much anything you want using that trade button on the right. Now, let's talk about what to do if the token's not available. So Trust Wallet has certain tokens that it has in its system and a lot of tokens that it doesn't have in its system, right? When I click trade right here and I've got, I go to swap and I've got these tokens, right? Well, there's a lot of tokens. For example, a big token blowing up right now is called Floki. You can see right here, it says there is no token called Floki. So that's where things get a little more complicated when we get, we're going for these smaller tokens that Trust Wallet doesn't have access to, which you will absolutely run into if you stay in the crypto world for very long. So that makes it a little more complicated, but it's still not too bad. So what you've got to do is you actually have to go to PancakeSwap or Uniswap. So we'll go to PancakeSwap right here. Okay, and PancakeSwap is just a decentralized exchange that has access to all these kind of much smaller cryptos that, that um, Trust Wallet and some of the other uh, wallets don't have. Now, when I go to PancakeSwap.finance right here, you can see uh, it says option to connect my wallet. And when I click connect wallet, it's got MetaMask, Trust Wallet, and uh, one other option right there. I'm gonna click wallet connect, and then I'm gonna click Trust Wallet. I've just found that works better for me. And it's gonna get approval to make swaps using your Trust Wallet, okay? So we open our browser, we go to PancakeSwap.finance, and then we go right here, and we can connect it with Trust Wallet. Now, inside our browser, okay, PancakeSwap can actually work with Trust Wallet, okay? So I'm right here, I can click Trade Now, and now I've got a screen kind of like what we were looking at in Trust Wallet a minute ago, but we've got access to uh, virtually every crypto out there that's on this the, the Binance Smart Chain, okay? So now we can make all these other different swaps that we couldn't have made before. So I do the same thing where it says, hey, you don't have any BNB in your wallet, and uh, obviously we didn't add BNB to my wallet, but I just select the, the coin that I was trying to buy. Let's say I was trying to buy some cake, which is a pancake swap, um, the actual their native token. And then we could make that swap right there and we'd see it show up inside of our trust wallet right here. Okay, so Trust Wallet's funny because it runs on multiple, it's got access to multiple blockchains. So we can use the Ethereum blockchain, in which case we wanna use Coinbase and we wanna use uniswap.org to make all the swaps. 
or we can use the Trust Wallet with the Binance Smart Chain, in which case we want to use Binance.us or Binance.com, and we want to use um, the Pancake Swap as the swap uh, method of choice if we don't have access inside of Trust Wallet. Okay, so I know that's complicated. Uh, welcome to crypto. Crypto can be a little complicated, but just think of it that way, uh, the way I just explained it, and you should be able to get access to any token you want inside of your Trust Wallet app. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is I promised to show you staking. So if we click that discover right there, so you can see right here, it's got all these things for lending and borrowing I can and staking. So I can click here and I can click into my BNB. And it's, if I owned BNB, I can click stake right there. And you can see uh, it tells you, hey, you'll get 22% APR, meaning that if I have 100 BNB right by the end of a year, I'll have 122.69 BNB. Now, the only caveat is the seven days right there, meaning that once you stake it, if you wanna unstake it and pull it out, you have to wait seven days. And by, by doing that, by telling them you're gonna lock it in there for at least seven days, they give you that, that um, crazy APR of 22%, which is great. So if you're just gonna buy stuff and hold it in your trust wallet, then you'll wanna stake anything you can using that stake button because uh, it just increases the, the value of your holdings. Okay, now the last thing to note, you may or may not get into NFTs. NFTs are huge right now. If you're buying NFTs on OpenSea or anything like that, then the way the place those will show up is in your collectibles right here. So you can see we've got tokens on our home screen. Okay, we've got all these tokens we've been talking about. We showed you how to add tokens. Collectibles is where NFTs will show up. And you can obviously click receive and send NFTs to your to your wallet right here, which typically you can see is on the Ethereum blockchain. So this is how Trust Wallet works. Just understand the two blockchains that we've got Ethereum blockchain and we've got BNB's blockchain. They don't interact very well. You kind of have to have both in there if you want to be able to use Trust Wallet to interact with, um, with a lot of different coins out there. So I would fund with both BNB and with Ethereum. And then you should be good to go using Trust Wallet. If you have questions, let me